Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play Factorio. I'm finally getting rid of our first electrolyzer that we put up here, and it's kind of sad to see it go, but uh, I, I think it, it's we haven't used it in forever, and it's just kind of taking up space right now. And there's actually something that I want to put here, uh, because... As this slag backs up, we're not uh, producing oxygen. So I'd like to get like a little bit of a supplemental oxygen supply uh, going into here. Uh, let's see. Um, I made some, uh, there's a process we can do, and, and I made some things, and I'm not sure what the exact ratio is going to be on here. But uh, this guy is going to produce uh, oxygen from from magic, basically. It just It's just going to pull it out of the air. Now, we're going to pull this compressed air just from around. And uh, then we'll use this chemical plant, uh, Mark II, to turn that into air separation right here. This is going to produce uh, oxygen and nitrogen. We're going to need nitrogen in the future. Uh, we're not going to need it right now, though. And uh, I, I wasn't sure. I know... I know what we need for uh, basically one of these setups to run, but we don't need it running all the time, and it's uh, it's 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 a little bit convoluted. Uh, so I set up. Did I only make three of these? I thought I made four. I thought I was doing four and four. Let's do four and four. Um, who am I to question uh, Kitch of the past? Uh, but yeah, we can push these all together. Uh, you guys are going to... Do I have it yet? No, but we can prepare for it. Oh yeah, that looks lovely, doesn't it? Yeah, well, that's not going to work. Even though this is temporary, that is no excuse to not try to make it look good. Okay, it's not going to look good. That's fine. All right, you guys are going to do that. Uh, you guys are going to do that. Uh, we'll get... Oh, is that going to collide? Oh, man, I just... I can't. I just can't. Oh, you know what we could do? There we go. All fixed. Uh, we'll take you out two. We'll take you out one. Uh, get undergrounds. Okay, and uh, let's see the nitrogen. We should have some extra flare stacks. Let's just go ahead and send it out directly there. Uh, we'll need it, but we don't quite need it now. And uh, I still have a lot of these wooden power poles, so I'm just going to try to put them in where I can. In the temporary places that probably won't last very long. Okay, that's going to make our compressed air... Is that... Okay. No, it's not. There we go. That's going to produce nitrogen as well as oxygen that we're going to want to take down. Here. All right. So... Let's see. Let's pull this slag line out temporarily because we're going to have to do a little bit of valve work here. Do we have an overflow? We do. Uh, overflow is not what we want, though. We want check valve. That's the wire one. Non-return valve. Overflow, converter, and top up. We want to top up. And basically a non-return? Am I, am I thinking about this properly? Um, okay, so we want this, th these back up with oxygen. Okay, yeah, that's that's what we want here. We want an overflow valve going right there 
So if this area gets over 80%, we just want to burn that oxygen off so these electrolyzers can move. And that will prevent that from cinching up. And uh, then we want the non-return valve coming this way. And we only want this one kicking in if this one is not cutting the mustard. So we want the top up valve going in there. Um, so that is going to push all of its oxygen out here. And if this backs up, the flare stack's going to kick on. And if this isn't keeping up, we'll get the supplemental oxygen from up here pushing down into this. So that is going to give us plenty of oxygen all the time. And uh, let's see, we've unhooked this. And uh, we need to get that going back up. And uh, gray belt, wow. All right, and I think that should help quite significantly with the problem that we've been seeing, uh, balancing oxygen and slag and all of that stuff. That way, if this completely dies, then that's okay. But uh, hopefully it'll, it'll, it'll let it go. And uh, that looks good. Okay, so that's good. That's done. Um, we shouldn't have to worry about that for 10 minutes. Uh, what's going on? All right, well, <laughs> we got lots of geodes again. <laughs> uh, not going to worry about that. We're going to work on something new. Uh, so let's head on down the bus here and uh, get into an area down here where we can actually build something new. I've already landfilled it. It's all ready to go. We should have our machines. Let's do it. All right, so... We've been on a quest for advanced circuits, believe it or not, for like the last 10 episodes. That's what everything we've been doing is is really all about. Um, in this episode, I want to take on plastic. I think it's going to be it's going to be pretty easy to do. And I think we're going to be able to uh, produce this uh, rather, rather easily and just go ahead and knock it out. Um, all right, let's see. What do we need? Uh, we need one machine making plastic. We need one machine, uh, three machines, pulling out the wood. We need a couple of liquefiers, liquefying that down into methanol. Um, a steam cracker. Uh, we're going to need steam. Uh, we're going to need probably a flare stack for now. Uh, liquid plastic and into that. All right. Uh, one to one there. All right. Um, is there anything What was that? Residual gas. What can we do with that? Lubricant. Petroleum jelly. And it's also used in a refining recipe. Uh re residual gas. Oh, that produces synthesis gas which I know we can use for um, a lot of other things. And so we're going to have steam right here. Uh, but that's that's for the future. I think right now it's destined for the flare stack. Um, okay, so we need a, a factory here that is making plastic, uh, which is going to be fed by a, a liquefier, uh, which is making liquid plastic from pro. I keep wanting to say propane. I don't know if those are the same. Propane, propane. You know, it, it, there's propane all around this place. Um, I, I, I've never spelled it before, though. <laughs> um, all right, and that takes that comes from the the steam cracking plant. Oh, look at you. You've got some awkward inputs. 
Uh, steam cracking. Methane. That's the one, right? Uh, you're going to need steam and this stuff, which is what we need these liquefiers for. Um, methanol? Wait a minute. I didn't write. That's not the right recipe. Ah, there we go. It's that one. All right, that feeds into that. That's going to go out. We'll burn that off. That goes into there. All right. Uh, you are fed by how many machines? Three, making the cellulose. Okay, so that's a one-to-one -one ratio. That's um, actually fortunate. Uh, what rate do you produce at four every two a second? And uh, boy, you need a oh, uh, it's it's slow. Uh, we'll just do two. I like things to go swiftly. All right, stone pipe together. You feed into the back of that. Hmm. Uh, this is not built for scaling at all. Uh, flare stack. Just boom like that. Boy, that looks uh, that looks almost reasonable. All right, we're going to need a boiler uh, to provide the steam. Uh, do we have a water pump? We've got several water pumps and things like that. We just need the boiler. There's our water. All right. Um, let's see. We need, need some belt. And I think we're technically going to need... Two lines coming in because we're going to need to feed this. I guess we could feed it off of cellulose fiber, uh, but that's a that's I mean that's a straight one to one ratio, right? Yeah. Um, what if we did this? We made you make charcoal pellets, and that would. That would gain a little bit of efficiency. That's silly. I like it. Um, how much uh, how much cellulose fiber do you need? Four. Or it's wood. You only need two wood. All right. So actually, um. Doesn't, doesn't line up. I guess uh, there's no reason why we can't adjust that. Other than me being picky. I don't want to have this uh, coal sitting here at the end of the line. Bring in, you feed that. Uh, this is not going to be made very often. That'll be just a, a little bit more efficient. Uh, you need two wood, right? All 
right, and I think I think that'll be good. Uh, put our water pump back. Okay, and then we can make this line uh, wood and uh, and plant or uh, wooden wooden charcoal. Okay, and they are just right here. Nope. Okay, and uh, let's see, you're going to need power. Oh, there's a big phlegm down there. Oh, we're out of undergrounds. All right, you're going to produce plastic. You're going to produce four every two seconds. Uh, that is actually convenient. Okay, there's that process going. You guys are making your steam. We just need this one to pop. All right, there we go. That's gonna crack all that. You're making your liquid. And we've got plastic. Fantastic. Is that number of steam crackers right? That doesn't seem... So you just need 0. 0.4. 3, 3. All right, well, I guess we're not really producing a full anything, really. We're just making enough to, to get our advanced circuits made. So, uh, you know, it's, it's not going to run all the time. Uh, what matters is that we actually have it. Um, we can take over the alginic acid... made for solder, it's made for cellulose pulp, and a solder. It only has those two purposes. All right, so that, of course, if we need solder later, we're going to regret this. But I don't want to take over a circuit lane, so uh, what's this other one? That one's stone. Okay, we can definitely take over the stone line. I don't think we're going to need that anywhere else, and if we do, we should have plenty of ample opportunities to... Uh, find other other areas for that. Yay, plastic. I don't I don't know. I just I'm probably going to regret this. I just feel like we could do we could do greater things with this.
I mean, we've got the resources coming in. Let's uh, let's use them. There we go. That got her kicking. All right, that'll just uh, increase production a little bit. And we could always go and remove that if it's going to be a problem. Uh, one that I can easily detect, which it's probably not going to be, but that's um, that's okay. All right, um, let's see. Let's take a look at stuff uh, now that we've had some time to just kind of let the factory run for a little bit. We still have a nice buffer of wood. Uh, we're actually using wood in other places now, so that should... Uh... Okay, yeah, you guys are all... You guys are all working. All right, we're, we're burning through our, our tree uh, surplus that we had. All of this looking well. Yes. Um, how are we doing up here? Oh, look at that. We got two gardens. Couple more. There's another one. Wow, we got six from that. Uh, how about temperance? One, two, three. Oh wow! Look at all these. Wow, we're we're rich. <laughs> oh, we got some swamp ones too. Finally. Got three more of those. Uh, let's go ahead. Uh, what do we need? We need uh, we need some steel chests. And can we make these things? Yeah. All right, those will take a while to go. While that's working, we can go ahead and throw our temperance in there to get processed and our deserts in there to get processed. And uh, yeah, we need to really think about starting farming soon. Um, it's it's getting getting very close. All right, uh, swamp garden, swamp garden, swamp garden. And I don't suppose one of you made one. Nope. Okay, that one will just be red until we actually get another one. And we got all these bio tokens. I. It seems like there was something else we we used those for. Oh, the upgrades. Okay, so we are going to need those for the upgrades to actually make those. And we add those. Those are made to make farms. We took a basic farm and other things and that. Okay. So it's not like they're useless. I feel like we've got a lot more than we actually need. But uh, I have a feeling... Like with so many other things in this mod pack, I'll be eating those words uh, very, very soon. Um, I was missing a clarifier here, by the way, in the last episode, um, if you pointed that out. I am so far ahead right now, and I apologize for that. Um, I've been uh, I've been trying to develop a backlog because I have a whole bunch of trips coming up here soon. Uh, so I've been just playing massive amounts of C block and doing a lot of recording, and uh, I'm I'm very far ahead right now. So I'm I, again I'm sorry for that. If it seems like I'm a little bit out of touch with recommendations and things that you guys have pointed out, uh, that's because uh, <laughs> that's because I'm I'm really really far ahead. Uh, though I will always uh, appreciate and uh, and and consider any advice given, as is my policy. Um, okay, all that's looking good. Um, these are now all churning. We don't have any oxygen problems anymore, at least on this line. This is all good. How's oxygen looking up here? It's looking great. We're probably even flaring it off, I'd imagine. Yep, 
There it goes. And uh, these things are all actually producing. We're getting slag, and all this stuff is running again. Okay. Uh, we have some work to do over here. Um, there's some different ways I want to do things. Let's uh, well, let's just let's just look. Let's just look. How are we with advanced circuits? All right, we got that knocked out. Um, resin. That was also a big thing. Okay, that's going to require an additional tree farm. A smaller one than what we have, but an additional one nonetheless. Hmm. Um, it doesn't need the fertilizer, uh, so it's a little bit simplified. And that's just to produce a tiny bit of resin. And resin was needed for the advanced circuits. What else do we need for the advanced circuits? What else is down this uh, rabbit hole? Uh, the silicon stuff. I want to get that as part of our uh, redo of um, the, the smelting. Um, a lot of little, like, minor gases and stuff like that. This is not scaring me because of the numbers being so small. Um, there's our nitrogen. That is actually going over to the smelting side of things. Um, all of this is taken care of. All right, so I think smelting is the big chunk. And that's it. All right, we're almost there. Um, we definitely need to work on that smelt. Oh, the smelting and the resin. We can't forget, we can't forget the resin. Um, did we, I expanded this radar out whenever I rebuilt that out. Uh, another swamp, uh, well, a swamp tree. I think that's our first one. Several temperate gardens. A temperate tree. Okay, that's that's what we need. We need that temperate tree right there. Let's go grab that real quick. Do we have landfill? We could use more. To give that every opportunity to be a full yellow belt going out on both sides. I'll probably regret that later, but uh, we're getting ready to expand this out and uh, add a little bit more of this. I wonder, is this going to be able to... It's like we need a little miniature version of this. Oh, let's see, that was its own thing. How far did I take that? I got it to the soil and the compost. Um, six machines making soil. All right, so I think we're going to have to... Uh, zero. Oh, I've already got it right here. <laughs> that would explain it. Uh, four, if we update those to two, that makes three. All right, so that with that and compost at 1.3. So that should be two algae farms. Very good. Okay, we just need that temperate tree. Um, let's go get that, and uh, then we will wrap up this episode. Uh, I was going to go get landfill. Getting ahead of myself. Or, or behind myself, however you want to look at that. Um, do we have any potential for any dangers? 
Um, yes. S lots of dangers. Um, I had a warehouse up here where I was storing stuff, and it was very handy. Uh, what kind of stuff do I have in my inventory? It's just basically garbage. Uh, sulfur. Yeah, that's another problem that I've been ignoring. Um, these can actually go into storage. All right, I think that's good. Uh, we'll grab our military packs here. And let's see, let's take the top road. Ah, start to buffer up charcoal. That's a good sign. This, this uh, has been backed up for most of the game. It looks like it's actually uh, not backed up even a little bit right now. Uh, except for back here. Um, okay, let's just uh, head that direction. Oh, that's a big one. Boy, I don't know what he was spitting. It was something blue. Uh, can we hit that from here? No. Man, that guy's tough. Uh, repair packs, yes. Why am I still hearing noises? Oh, it's those guys down there. Well, they can just be mad. Uh, biter goodies. Uh, where are we at? We're up. Uh, we're up there. Oh wow, that guy! Look at that. A behemoth worm. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Oh, look at this little zigzag. If we're going to have this, like, little protruding uh, jetty going out, we can at least make it somewhat nice. Uh, all right. Uh, let's see. It can't reach. Why not? Is there no way in here? Uh oh, there's no way in here. I can't get there. Oh, game, you are trolling me very, very hard right now. Oh, no, I can get, I can get that. Why can't I get, this is the one I need, this right here. This is, oh, I got it. Oh, man. I don't know if that glitched or what, but whatever it is, I will take it. Okay, let's just, let's just leave. Uh, cliff Explosives. Um, what are we going to need for that? <laughs> what kind of nightmare is this going to be? Okay, it's actually grenades. Um, explosives. That could, I could see that going in, in a bad spot. Uh, where are explosives? It's not in Petro. It shouldn't be in Bio stuff, I wouldn't imagine. Not here. It was in like a miscellaneous uh, category in vanilla, right? Petrochem, it's not. Oh, there it is right there. Uh, sulfur, charcoal, and purified water. Okay, actually, we can we can make those. Um, that's good to know. That's good to know. We have everything we need for that, and it's very, very straightforward. All right, so if I need a swamp tree, uh, there's one right there. We'll just remember that. Uh, right now, we got our temperate tree, which is all that matters. So we can make our um, 
our resin here. Uh, there's our other two. Uh, let me put the desert tree in there for now. Uh, there's one timber tree seed generator. And uh, we could make more if we had electronic circuits and iron pipe. Both of those things we have in the mall. All right, well, I'm going to go make those. Um, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you in the next episode where it looks like we're going to make some uh, make some resin, uh, provided nothing else happens. How is plastic going? Plastic is going well. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.